As the vaccine rollout continues across Georgia, we're answering some of your top questions. Some of you tell us you're hearing about surprise fees, but are they even allowed? Liza Lucas verifies. The Verify team is committed to getting you answers. We've had several people ask if the COVID-19 vaccine is free, are providers allowed to charge an administration fee? Let's verify with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, the Georgia Department of Health, and Kritika Amin with the Kaiser Family Foundation. To start, the CDC pre-purchased initial doses of the COVID-19 vaccine with your tax dollars. As a result, the agency says vaccines are supposed to be free. According to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, all health care providers in the CDC's COVID-19 vaccination program agree to give the vaccine regardless of someone's ability to pay and regardless of coverage status. But hold on. The CDC's website also says health care providers can charge an administration fee to help cover storage or staffing costs. So who foots that bill? Federal rules let providers bill public and private insurance companies for the cost of administering the vaccines. If someone is not insured, the government's provider relief fund is supposed to cover the cost. There are really no loopholes here. The providers will have their costs covered either through the insurance or the federal government fund. They might ask you for your insurance information if you're insured, but you will not be charged for anything. The Georgia Department of Health also confirmed there should be no out-of-pocket costs for someone getting the vaccine. But if your doctor's visit includes medical needs beyond the vaccine, that's when you could face a separate charge. If you're getting another procedure done, there might be a bill associated with that. But for the COVID vaccine itself, people will not get charged. So are providers allowed to charge an administration fee? Our sources confirm yes, that's allowed. But that fee should be paid by insurance companies or the federal government's relief fund, not by those needing the vaccine. Do you have something for us to verify? Send us an email at verify at 11alive.com.